princess be a bad Hey guys welcome to my channel it's your girl bad tammy if you are new to my channel don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you are an og baddie hey guys i'm back i know your girl been m.i.a for a little bit but i think you guys already know of course because y'all already seen the beginning and this far you guys kind of have suspected a little bit so i'm here to confirm and basically let you guys know your girl is prego with baby number two so like i said it's been a minute so i kind of want to give you guys like a little rundown i'm gonna be doing a lot of talking just because i want to catch you guys up with everything that has been going on the last you guys have seen of me i believe is january so i kind of wrote down some notes because i know i'm gonna forget a few things so yeah i'm pregnant and my due date is august 26 2024 first i guess let's start off by me letting you guys know how i found out or like when i found out i'm one of the girls that like tracks her periods and all that my missed period was december around i believe the 20 something ish probably like after christmas i was supposed to get my period and since y'all know we be like partying hard so that's another thing like we be partying hard and around december i also was doing my little like vlogmas so i had all of that you know going on and then it was new year's so i really was not even thinking about it y'all i don't know it just like hit me like it's a new year and i have not got my period yet and i checked my app and 
yeah i was like a few days late and then once i gave it the thought like everything i felt like just started happening all at once like i felt like i started feeling sick i started being like mad tired my boobs were like real swole y'all know cheese birthday is in january which is the 13th so i basically i renewed because i didn't have my period and it was a little surprising because chi knows my cycle as well so usually when like my cycle comes he'd be like is your period about to start or are you on your period yeah and like he didn't ask none of that around this time either so i was a little like oh my god she's gonna ask me soon and i was thinking of trying to do something you know how i wanted to tell him but then i kind of felt like i wasn't really gonna have enough time and then he was gonna like suspect already so i didn't really do anything cute which i kind of regretted i pretty much just saw him like my period has not came and i'm like i'm pregnant he's like you're lying like he didn't believe me i'm like well this is not the time to be lying or playing around so the way that i basically told she it was not really like anything spectacular i just told him but i'm glad i did because like i said when i like knew like oh yeah i'm pregnant i started feeling really sick morning sickness was on 10. i was mad tired i just started feeling like and then on top i had the vlogmas going on that's why a lot of that the last i believe the last two were like really late because i was just going through it it was a little disappointing because a lot of you guys was like talking smack like back it up you guys don't even know what she's going through right now so i was like not trying to let it get to me but it really was getting to me because y'all know like i'm really on top of my content creation and all that so yeah i was dealing with that feeling down kind of feeling like i let myself down i let you guys down because i didn't put like those last two videos out on time like i was you know i was doing good and then it's just like i crashed i was feeling really really sick up until i would say like two months in so basically i explained when i found out that i have symptoms sickness and all that when i told she and i'm gonna get into when i told tazana so for tazana y'all know that's my baby i just felt like i needed to tell her in a special way i put something together for her and i also put something together for my mom just because i feel like grown-ups they're like always like pro-life i don't know my mom is like the sweetest ever so i feel like she was gonna like give me that kind of positive push or like you know make me feel like it's right so i did something special for my mom and tazana which i will insert those clips Hey guys, so I realized that I never really took a test with you guys. So I just took two tests and I'm waiting on the results, even though we already know the results. But I just want to let you guys see like the actual sticks. It just popped up. Pregnant. Still waiting on this other one that has like the little cross on it. But it ain't showed up yet. I took two of them because I'm actually going to finally tell my mom and Tazana just because y'all you know of course Tazana that is my first child my baby and she has actually been talking about a sibling a sister somebody she can play with and you know have with her I guess 24 7 yeah I feel like she's really gonna be excited I don't know though because when she do get to being on camera she acts like a little shy so I'm not sure but I know deep down she is going to be excited. I'm also going to tell my mom just because I feel like she's going to have like a real reaction and like a grandma reaction, a mom reaction. So the way that I'm going to do it, I'm just going to, for my mom, I'm just going to put it in a box. I went to Target and got these boxes. These were literally the only patterns they had. And then it's the one that I got for Tizana. So I'm going to place and as you guys seen i went and got 
some shirts made well onesie this is the one for my mom it just says hola abuela which in english is hey grandma and it has like a little baby feet so i'm gonna fold that in here so that's what that looks like and then i'm gonna put the test right here and then i also think i'm gonna put a picture from my um, ultrasound i wanted to make copies but i didn't have a chance to do that so i'm gonna just place it on there and then of course um get it because it's like for my memories all right so here is the ultrasound picture and i'm just gonna place it in there like that and i'm gonna show you guys the overview that's what she looks like cute and simple and then for Tazana's, i'm not really sure how i'm gonna do it because for her i got the shirt made that says big sister but i'm gonna put it on her build-a-bear but i feel like with the box i'm gonna do the same thing i got this other shirt that says best sister and then i'm i guess i'm gonna put the test so this one actually didn't pick up it's saying it's just showing for not pregnant i guess with her i'm gonna do the same like put it in a box and then i'm gonna tell her i guess to turn it around or should i put the big sister and i feel like if she sees the little baby picture she's gonna know i'm not sure what do you guys think Should I put best sister on? Yeah, I'm gonna put best sister. And then when she opens it, she's gonna see this one that says big sister. And Tazana can't really even read, so she's gonna ask me <laughs> what it says anyways. I have been dying to tell her, but I was just trying to figure out a way to tell her. So put in a shirt. And the test. And then the picture so this is like an overview of it so cute so the next thing you guys will probably will see is when they finally get to open it it's currently early so i might just walk over to my mom's and show it to her so yeah it's really just gonna be like really by surprise so i'm just gonna tell her i got something for her and then for tazana later when she gets out of school I'm gonna tell her that I got a surprise for her and probably tell her in her room or you know out here in the living room so that's what you guys will see next all right guys so mama Stray is here <laughs> and I told her I had a surprise for her I'm nervous oh, <laughs> oh my god <laughs> the king me your boy. <laughs> Como? Tiny <laughs> gala. I'm dead. Ya ven. Y yo eso te iba a decir ayer. ¿Qué? Que te miras muy rara. Ajá. De. No veo la abuela. <laughs> Susanna's finally home from school. You see your bear? Her new outfit? What does it say? I don't know. I don't know how to read. <laughs> it says best sister. Why does it say that? Ain't you the best sister ever? Hmm. Okay, open that. What is this? Open it. What does it say, the shirt? What? What does it say? I don't know. It says big sister. What does it have? B? Look at the picture that was in there. What? What is it? What? What's the picture? Oh, brother, this <laughs> guy stinks! That's a picture of a baby.
What you think I'm trying to tell you? I don't know. <laughs> what does the what are the feet on the shirt? Small. Yeah. Small like what? A baby? Yeah. Are you getting pregnant? Yeah. Finally! <laughs> Why is it blurry that much? I don't know. Why is it blurry? What you been saying? Because I wanted you to get pregnant. Because you want a what? A sister. <laughs> you happy? Do I put the shit on my hair? Person? Yeah, you can. So guys, she she took a little minute to figure out what it was, but she finally got it. <laughs> Tazana's gonna be a big sister. Nobody baby stuff. <laughs> Tazana wanna tell her dad. Daddy. I wanted to tell you something. What you want to tell me? Mommy's gonna be pregnant. What? Mommy's gonna be pregnant. Mommy, don't be pregnant. What? Mommy, don't be pregnant. So you have to, I don't want, I need a dad, so you have to be the dad. I, I hope I'm the dad, I better be the dad. You are! <laughs> That's your brother and your sister, what you want? Um, a sister. You want a sister? Yes. Well, it's in mommy's tummy. You better hope. Well, not yet. It's in there right now. No, it's not. Yes, it is. That's mommy. <laughs> why? Why did they put it blurry? You can't even barely see the baby. Huh? <laughs> you don't see the baby. Baby sister. Sammy, why are you talking about baby sister? It says big sister. Oh, big sister. Oh. I'm going to make some I don't know what to do. We don't got any baby food with a bottle or a hot chair. I guess you have to go to the hospital and get the baby out. And <laughs> we won't be happy yet. You excited? Yes, I'm excited. I know you guys probably would want to see, like, my sister's reactions, but... Like, my sisters, they're, like, very awkward. We're very awkward. We're not really good with, like, expressing, I guess, our emotions. So, I didn't think to even want to record them or get a reaction because i feel like they're just gonna be like okay so the way that i told my sisters is i pretty much just text each one of them individually and like broke the news down to them i'll see if i like insert the little screenshots but it wasn't really nothing special like i said they gave like a <laughs> okay congrats or like um reaction the first sister that i did tell was nana and it was because um during the beginning i was dealing with spotting and stuff as you guys know um a lot of times like bleeding and that it's kind of like due to complications and i don't know i just was feeling like a little emotional and i felt like i didn't really have anybody to talk to about what was really going on in case something bad were to happen like i felt like i did i didn't have somebody which my usual like go-to person is nana so i just like you know told her what was happening and she was very positive and just like you know congrats if that's what you want like you're already a amazing mom to tazana so you know you'll be amazing mom to baby number two so she was just like really positive and it was pretty much what i needed at the moment so as far as all of that i have been documenting a little bit for you guys just because i know i wanted to bring you guys in with me on this journey and i'm really excited because um y'all know when i was pregnant with tazana i wasn't like a youtuber girl by then so i feel like this is something very new for us but they are kind of like short i was just picking up my camera here and there just because sometimes at the doctors they would be like no recording or be like little iffy about that which I'm a little confused because like this is um, my life, my moment. But okay. I'm tired while this talking. So I am going to insert those little clips that I have been recording. Hey guys. 
I really just wanted to tell you guys that we are going to get straight into going to a doctor's appointment. I actually called to schedule it this morning and they had a availability this afternoon. So I was just like, yep, let's go ahead and, you know, get it out of the way and actually, you know, confirm what I sort of been suspecting. So I guess they're going to give me like a test and you know we have to wait on results and all that so i don't really want to say it yet to you guys because like i said this is actually gonna be my first test i just kind of been a little sus like i said so yep that's what we're gonna get started with it's at 5 30 so i still have like a hour or so to spare and i will just you know check in with you guys all right guys so I'm in the bathroom and I'm about to pee in the cup. I can't really set you guys up for that. And I'm pretty sure y'all don't want to hear me piss. But I'm about to go ahead and do that. So pee in the cup. I'm about to go ahead back to the room and wait. They did say my blood pressure was a little high, so we might get that rechecked in a few. And I think I saw you, they gave you a urine, and they're probably running the urine right now, is that right? Okay. And if you don't mind, just confirm your first name and date of birth. Silver Cologne, 11-26-98. Okay. And um, we're doing a pregnancy test today. I think she's running it, so I'll just keep refreshing right as it comes out. Okay. Um, are you having, like, did you miss your period? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, are you taking, like, a prenatal? No. Okay. I would probably start a prenatal if you're trying to get pregnant, just in general. Okay. Wait a minute. Say that. If you say what? <laughs> she's pregnant. Really? <laughs> hey, guys. Today it is February the 1st, and we are at a doctor's appointment. Say, hey sir so we just waiting on doctor but i'm gonna see what i get to show you guys because they be acting a little stank about recording but i don't know what all they're gonna do um so yeah i'll keep you guys updated i'm trying there's heart there you go that was better mm-hmm mm-hmm mm. yep 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 oh, yeah. Okay, all I get is this. It brings it in here, but it won't actually print it. I think they jacked something up when they took it to maintenance last week. Oh my gosh, it did. Well, let's oh see. my gosh. Hold on. All right, it did. <laughs> oh, so good. Print four, good. So they have gotten it fixed then. Okay. Say print four. So if we get a new good picture, we'll get yeah. it. I'd like you to get hardened, and then we can end mode it and get. So there's an arm and there's a foot coming off right there. Ah. All right, well, good Thank luck. You. Hey guys, so today is February 23rd and I'm getting ready to go to a doctor's appointment. It's currently 6.26 in the morning. I actually got out the shower, but today I'm supposed to be going to a new OBGYN just because at my primary doctor, they switched me over. I don't think I've actually spoke to you guys yet. Just because I've just been picking up my camera whenever I feel like, you know, it's little moments I want to catch with you guys. I haven't actually sat down and talked to you guys about anything. But anyways, they switched me over because basically how the pregnancy with Tizana was so bad. And I had preeclampsia, high blood pressure, and all of that stuff with like my C-section not being closed as well. They're considering high risk. So they're switching me over to 
the people that I'm supposed to be going to today. My appointment is at 8.30, so basically I have to be on time and drop Tizana off to head to the doctor's office. So that's why I'm getting dressed so early. Because I want to get sent my cue or whatnot. So yeah, first I believe I have to do an ultrasound with them. And then I will get started on my, um, I think they call it like initial, initial visit or something like that. They will be giving me more information, I believe, on like if I will be able to have like a natural delivery or would it have to be C-section again and all that stuff. Like I said, they're just more of like specialists with pregnancy overall. And then also because of the situation, my last... On my last appointment that actually told me that I will have to be taking aspirin pills every day for the baby to try to avoid uh, preeclampsia. And I was supposed to start taking those at 12 weeks. But I haven't even wanted to pick that up. So I need to also do that today. But I just wanted to update you guys really quick. Let y'all know what's going on for today. Um, I'm gonna get dressed, get this on a dress. I'll probably check in with you guys when I'm on the way to my appointment. Hey guys, we made it to the appointment and we couldn't record back there, of course. We got some pictures. So, the other side. So we are 13 weeks and four days today. How you feeling? <laughs> you sound bad. <laughs> it's not gonna be excited. So we just gonna wait till they call me back in for my initial, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna say we can't record again. But I'm pretty sure they're just gonna be asking a whole bunch of questions again. So I'll just keep you guys updated. It is because they were trying to wait and then they had put me on magnesium mm -hmm. and I started having a reaction to that. Mm -hmm. And I think it was like it was starting to go in my lungs, so that's why they had to do the. Pregnancy got pretty bad. Yeah, and that's why they had to do the emergency. But from the beginning, it was. I was told that we were trying to wait. Yeah, you got pretty sick. Yeah. How long was your baby in the hospital? Um, I would say like three weeks. Three weeks. Um, and how is she doing now? She's good. Excellent. <laughs> Is she about to go to school? I'm trying to do that. She's, she's in school now. School. She's in pre-K. She's in pre-K. Mm -hmm. It looks like you had some blood loss as well. You had some anemia. Yeah. Um, so what was... Has anything been discussed with you in regards to having another C-section versus trying for a No, no she said we were going to talk about that. Perfect. Here. So... Um, you know, we obviously have a lot of time in this pregnancy to mm -hmm. make decisions about that. But I would tell you, if you've just had one C-section before, as you have, you would be considered a candidate for trying for a vaginal birth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you know, we can run calculators and do that at your future visits to kind of give you a sense of what is the percent chance. But I tell you, on average, it's about seventy percent chance of mm -hmm. success, okay. which which isn't a hundred, but it's certainly not anywhere close to zero. And I think the most important thing in your in in your mind should be how big do I think I want my family to be in the future? Mm -hmm. Because if you told me you know, this is my last pregnancy, no matter come what may, like I don't want to be pregnant ever again, mm -hmm. you know, there's probably not all that much risk with doing a second C-section, right? Having yeah. two C-sections isn't the end of the world, right? Mm -hmm. But if you said I might want a bigger family, you know, I might want a third child or a fourth, then I think we gotta be really thoughtful about how many C-sections people have. Okay. Uh, because the more C-sections that you have, 
the more complex the surgery becomes, number one. And C-sections in and of themselves have risks above a vaginal birth. Infection, much higher risk. Bleeding, much higher risk of bleeding in a C-section. Pain, recovering from surgery. Mm -hmm. um, and the more C-sections you have, the more complicated that all becomes. And so, you know, when I counsel my patients about a C-section, whether they do that or try for a vaginal birth, I think we've got a couple of things to consider. Number one is, well, when when might the C-section happen? Because my goal is hopefully we get you to term this pregnancy, right? We don't mm -hmm. want a 32-week birth right. for you. But none of us have a crystal ball to know that that will happen. But inducing somebody with a history of a C-section, like let's say, God forbid, you develop severe preeclampsia again at 32 weeks, right? If that were to happen to you again, we've gotta be considerate that inducing somebody who's 32 weeks is gonna be really slow as compared to that term. Mm -hmm. And there's probably extra risk of staying pregnant for a longer period of time when you have that scar on your uterus. Yeah. So. So how do we um, calculate if we yeah. were to be able to do a so, vaginal? So we, you know, I think that those numbers are important in saying, is this a good idea? Yes, no. But it doesn't necessarily mean it needs to make your decision. I, I don't use the calculators to make decisions. I just use them to inform you your chances at least above the average for the United States. You know, keep that in mind as your pregnancy progresses. I don't think you're gonna leave here today with knowledge saying, I'm yeah. absolutely gonna have a C-section, mm -hmm. but at least let's start the conversation. And the things that I want you to think about in this pregnancy are, you know, if I go into labor on my own versus if I need to be induced for a reason, because those are slightly different circumstances. Mm -hmm. Um, we will support whatever decision you make, to be clear. Right. Um, but in, in terms of thinking about risk benefits, we've got a lot in between us and your third trimester. Okay. Um, so as your pregnancy continues, continue that conversation with your doctors um, okay. and speak up for yourself. All right. So um, you're not my say OB. So here's the thing. They scheduled you with maternal fetal medicine. Mm -hmm. I'm a high risk specialist. Okay. You do not need to see a high risk specialist. Okay. Um, I'm happy to schedule you with an obstetrician because family medicine doctors, they don't do C sections. Oh, so, okay. so they do prenatal care. Like they see people who are pregnant, mm -hmm. their whole pregnancy, and they deliver babies, in fact, but they don't do C sections. So, you definitely need to see an OBGYN, mm -hmm. but I don't think a history of preeclampsia says you need to be high, high risk. risk. I don't yeah. think we need that label. We're happy to kind of set the plan, mm -hmm. and I think that's a good idea. But in terms of your routine care, mm -hmm. I don't think you'll need to see high risk. So lastly, a few other details about, you know, the pregnancy. I do have a story time about Tazana's. If you guys are not familiar with how that went, make sure to check that out so you guys can pretty much have like a overall picture of how that went. So because of that first experience and how bad it was and your girl was um, diagnosed with preeclampsia and I had to have an emergency C-section, my doctors basically are, well, they were considering it a high-risk pregnancy, but we're in a clear now, I believe. Um, they did prescribe aspirin that I'm supposed to be taking for baby every day to help bring down the percentage of getting preeclampsia again and then i believe at i think they said like 28 30 weeks if you know god willing we make it that far we will discuss you know if i will be allowed to have a natural birth experience that or if we will have to you know go with a scheduled c-section i pretty much don't know all the information on that what I can say is something about they do testing or something that they they have to determine what their medical advice will be to me. So whenever we get to that period, I'll you know fill you guys in with that. But for me, in the back of my head, I sort of I have like I would want to do a C-section again. Like I know the scheduled ones are not as bad, of course, as a uh, emergency C-section. So yeah, I know you guys pretty much will always act like, 
you know, tell me when's baby number two, baby number two this, baby number two that. Like, honestly, I always said that, you know, I've wanted a big family. I've kind of always thought I wanted to have, like, kids really close, like how me and my sisters are, like, close in age. So I was already feeling like, dang, it's been freaking five years and I still don't have another kid. But going to my appointments now, it made me feel like waiting actually was the best option just because of... I want to say it's like bad news, but it's not really been like 100% all good. I don't know. I don't know if I'm just rambling at the mouth, but yeah. I'm really nervous about this journey just because of the bad. I don't know, but I keep trying to tell myself like I don't want to let that feeling like take away from the actual good of like, you know, creating another life, experiencing it again and you know all the actual good stuff i don't want to let like like my scary emotions like take over the actual good if that makes sense so yeah at the end of the day your girl is already prego and from here you know we'll see what happens how the rest of the journey goes and like i said i will be bringing you guys along so i hope you guys are excited i think you guys will be excited Y'all yeah, always be asking, like I said, for baby number two. Like, y'all gonna come take care of my kids. But I honestly think that's all that I have to say and fill you guys in with. I know it's probably, like, lengthy. But like I said, I have not spoken to you guys in months. And I want to go ahead and, you know, say thank you for all the positive vibes that you guys will be sending. And all the congrats. And I actually just want to say thank you guys as well for allowing me to actually you know have another set of family that i get to you know tell and experience this new life with because you guys are my family as well so thank you guys for you know all the love all the time after this i will pretty much just insert the clips of like how i just been picking up the camera and talking to you guys leading up to um the announcement that i wanted to do for you guys i don't think i ever really did like a proper introduction because i knew i wanted to come and basically explain everything to you guys so after this i'll pretty much get into the clips of me probably getting ready like hair nails and all of that for the announcement video and then pretty much just leading up to a few days after i hope i covered everything and we'll be getting into the rest of this video hey guys so today is march 18 it's 10 o'clock currently and i have a lash appointment at 10 30 but i wanted to stop by and get some breakfast first so i'm at tropical smoothie they actually have some new um acai bowls that i want to try um they look good so i'm gonna go here and grab me one eat it real quick and then head to my last appointment it says i'm eight minutes away from her so yeah and then also i'm gonna see if i get her reaction of her seeing my belly because as you guys see the belly is out she's poking now so i think she's gonna notice and me personally i feel like you can already tell in my face so i feel like she's gonna know we're gonna see what my last girl got to say y'all know she's kind of i'll consider her a friend i've been knowing her for like going on two years now let me grab me some food and then i will check in with you guys i'll probably show you guys what the um bowl looks like hey y'all so they were busy in there like i thought i was gonna be able to eat my stuff peacefully but this is what the bowl looks like i just got the regular acai bowl it comes with granola chia seeds banana strawberries blueberries and coconut i like that it's pretty cold probably a little too cold i like it i honestly thought it was gonna be like a bigger portion but i think this is perfect I actually like that it is like frozen because I hate when it starts getting like a little too runny and I ask for extra granola.
And then I had grabbed a quesadilla. So I was being greedy. I didn't think I was going to get full off of that, but I think I am. That's what it looks like. It's pretty alright. I feel like that would be perfect for Tizana. But I give this a 8 out of 10. I'm going to try the other flavors that they have. But I'm about to get on the road because I am running late now. We are entering my India's beauty box. <laughs> you said cold? No, it's not bad. You look so different. Yeah, but not when you you did a lot of different stuff. I'm about to switch my colors now. What you doing? Uh, new brown and black. Yeah, I'm going to switch my colors. Did I send you some lashes? Mm-mm. What is this? Love her sets. Um, probably short with like wispy. What did you want? Uh, the sets ain't gonna hit the same if you don't get bottles. What about this one? But instead of up to 16, 15, I might not got 10s. You should have told me what you got before. I'm gonna show you guys after because I'm trying to take a little nap. So that's what I'm looking like. Hey guys. It's actually the next day from lashes and this is what they look like. So freaking bull and cute. Like always. So make sure you guys check my girl out. Um, seeing that I did try to record it a little bit, but she didn't notice. But I think it's because her suite is like really dark. Y'all know lashes be having like the dark kind of um extended vibe going on. So I guess you know the girlies can relax. So I don't think she necessarily realized. But she probably was like, oh, this bitch a little um, chubby. But she probably didn't want to mention, like, what if I wasn't pregnant? I don't know. But she didn't say anything about it. So I'm guessing she doesn't think that I am. So Charisma, whenever you see this, now you know. <laughs> but, yeah, I didn't show you guys lashes yesterday because I always tell you guys that my eyes get, like, really, 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 really red. And I didn't want to come on here with my eyes looking like that. They're still a little red they're always red the first day and a little bit like the next day but it's better feels better um the lashes don't irritate me at all i just don't know why it recently started doing that so yeah i'll be trying to book lashes on like days way before because i know they get red for whatever i need to do or want to do but anyways today is the next day like i said so it is the 19th and i have a nail appointment which is very much needed i popped my nails off a few days just because i want to get a full set a new full fresh set and then i'm actually getting my toes done as well i'm really excited for that hold up because i'm getting some food right now yes I'm about to head to my appointment, snack on my Chick-fil-A breakfast that I got because I am going to be there in a minute. So I'll just check in with you guys. Well, y'all just going to see um, nails whenever I get there. Some different about
about you Love it when he hit and it's not too Baby, let me lick on your tattoos That's true that I like PDA Take it to a city place Suck a little dick in the bathroom Who that man with the big strong hands On a rass in the club with the past would be that's you Front seat chilling with the window down I'd be ten toes down on the dash Getting fast food Hope you can handle the heat Put your name in the streets Get used to my fans looking at you Fuck what they heard I'll fuck with them birds I'm a mean kitty Don't get stabbed with the rats Your boys be mad that I don't fuck Incels, girls hate too Hey guys, so it's actually like really, really much later from my nail appointment. This is what they look like. So freaking beautiful. I'm obsessed with them. They're like really simple. And this is my first time getting like the opal shape. And I was kind of like a little iffy at first. I wasn't really feeling them. But when she put like that clear coat on there, I really fell in love with them. So yeah, these are the nails. And then y'all seen the toes. It's pretty simple actually just got done cooking some dinner for us i'm not you know showing you guys all of that because right now it's just about you know the whole pregnancy or whatnot but anyways i got a package from my hair girl i will tag her down below you know i've been faithfully getting my bundles from her and i really love the hair i'm about to um dye them black because they have like a um is it like 1b that's what you call it 1b so it kind of has like a brownish tint to it they look black right here but i got 22 inch i got four bundles and this is what they give in um i didn't want to go too too long i might honestly end up cutting a little bit tomorrow on my appointment um but i'm gonna dye them black like i said so i got some dye and i'm actually gonna dye my hair back black as well just because the um red has kind of like outgrown anyways and i just want to go back black you know all black bust down straight hair it's just gonna give i'm trying to see if i show you guys i'm honestly scared for my nails i don't want to you know stain them so, so I'm gonna probably mix this up and then come update you guys for this. But for the bundles, I got um this 
and i think i want to do like the water method all right guys so she is finishing up on my hair and i don't like doing this either <laughs> nobody like say it. that i don't like it so okay just on this last little piece and then i'm gonna let it sit for like 15 minutes You gonna start working at the baddest studio? Why you going on? She's killing my soul right now. Hey guys, so quick update: my hair is washed, and as you guys see, it's black. It looks black. I'm just letting it dry because I'm actually about to go to bed, and I just got done um, watercoloring the bundles. It looks like it's black. Honestly, I'm not sure. I mean, it's already like a dark color. I believe it worked. It looks darker than what it was. So yeah, I just wanted to update you guys, but this is pretty much it for tonight. I just wanted to, you know, talk to you guys after nails and show you guys what else I was up to since that is part of my maintenance for a little video. So um, I'll come talk to you guys tomorrow because tomorrow is actually my hair appointment that i'm really excited for i'm ready to just get done up just checking with you guys tomorrow good night good morning guys it's the next day and today is my hair appointment like i mentioned and as you guys see the hair is black i kind of noticed some parts where you could still see that other like um red color i don't know she did it so um but anyways i'm about to get ready to head out um I already went ahead and got dressed. My appointment is at 10 o'clock. It's currently 9.35, so I'm about to head out. Unfortunately, I didn't have time to get some breakfast, and I've been needing to put something on my stomach, like, ASAP, so she's gonna bring me something. I just ended up putting this um, Skims top. It came with matching leggings, but the leggings actually fit me, like, too tight, and I didn't wanna be, like, tight, especially, like, on my stomach area. So I'm about to send those back and get, like, a bigger size. I actually sized up on those, but, yeah, that's neither here or there, but I just ended up putting, like, some black jeans. I will show y'all, but, y'all, my office looks a freaking mess, which I need to open up packages later, so we'll do that later. Yep, this is me in the tummy today. She is poking and currently i am 17 weeks y'all i haven't really like updated or been talking to you guys let's go get this hair done i'm really excited i'm just getting a quick weave um just because you know i don't want to necessarily put heat on my hair and because i want like a fuller look so i'm gonna do a quick weave and i'm actually gonna do leave out that's why i had to dye my hair so check in with you guys at my hair appointment You say you want me, I don't ignore you. You said it first, but I meant it more, girl. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. You got potential, I can't explain. You're so persuasive, I made some changes. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Where were you this whole time? Come and see me now, not another time. You should come and see me on the rag. See me now, not another time. You should come and see me on the regular. I don't know if we'll find a bad time. Cause I've been sleeping with a pistol in my bed. I'd rather have you here instead. I gotta get out of my own head. Don't let me down, come here right now. Don't keep me waiting You love me how you love me Then just say it Oh yeah Oh yeah Oh yeah Girl what's the hold up Come take me over You came the closest We should be closer Oh yeah Oh yeah Sleeping with a pistol in my bed I'd 
say you want me. I don't ignore you. Hey guys, so hair is done as you guys see, and I freaking love it. Like always, y'all know I always love when I have me some thick no. inches. And make sure you guys go check my boo out for her bundles because her bundles are the best. As you guys see, it's giving scalp. It's giving, I grew this overnight. So make sure you guys check her out. I know I mentioned earlier that my office looked like shit because I had a whole bunch of packages. So I just opened all of them. So here are my packages. And I'm going to go ahead and open them with you guys. It's pretty much for our video shoot slash photo shoot that you guys probably already seen and then this stuff over here is just stuff that i have here it's stuff that's tazana's and then some other stuff that's mine but i just have it there i got this um outfit from pretty little thing it's a two-piece i'm gonna try it on because i wasn't really too sure with my sizing so i'm gonna try them on just in case it fits and if not probably you know order a bigger size or whatever i need to do maybe go get it altered um as you guys see it's like a cream color I did want to do white, but Claudia ended up finding that one for me, and I really fell in love. This is the dress for Tizana. Wow. It's the same, um, you know, like champagne cream Take color. It and it has the pearl detail on there, as you guys see, and it also has a big bow with pearls on it. Hence, too, why you guys see like pearls, because, you know, everything's just going to tie in all together. And for cheat outfit, he got these pants. And then he has this dress shirt. This is his dress shirt. Looks his so shirt looks a little lighter than our material. Well, than mine's. I feel like mine's material is a bit darker than both of theirs. So that's his stuff. Um, then for Susanna, I ordered her some little heels. This is what they look like. They got a bow, you know, to tie in with everything, like I said. That's so cute. Anything that's um, from Amazon, I'll try to make sure I'll make sure to link it for you guys. And then these are my heels. It has the bow, but this color looks a little different, but I don't think it should matter. And then I just have some other packages. This is um, for an outfit that maybe I'll wear after that Claudia helped pick up for me. It's just some shorts with a shirt that says mother. Cause y'all know that's what I am. But it really just says mother. Beep. So that's the outfit that Claudia put together for me. And then this is just another outfit I ordered. I don't think I'm opening with you guys. And then I just ordered a whole bunch of like facial stuff my face is like breaking out but i'm trying to do something about it but honestly i don't know if it is something i can do about it because it's actually like because of the pregnancy it happened to me the first time with tazana like my hairline just broke out a lot and it happens right here as well and then my chest is like breaking out really really bad as well but i'm kind of trying to basically have like a skincare because you guys know i always say i don't have a skincare so i ordered th these like towels that help when you wash your face i ordered this like v-line lifting band because y'all know my face is getting fatter and i always talk about my double chin so i got this to help i got a little ice thingy because i've seen that basically like icing your face helps with um it being puffy and all of that which i feel like in the morning and just because like i said my face is just gonna be getting rounder i feel like this will help with the puffiness then i also ordered like the snail treatment that everybody was like getting on tiktok but people actually said that it works and then i ordered some vitamin c this is the medic eight I've seen a lot of good things about this. So like I said, I'm just trying to get stuff to actually have a skincare. This is what the bottle looks like. And then I got like a silk in the mist. This is for my hair. Um, I just grabbed this one because it's actually the most expensive one that I've seen. So, you know, probably works good. And then lastly, I have this package, which is a custom brush. I think I've showed you guys my other ones and the ones that I bought my sisters. So I bought a new one for me. And, so, and this one says baddest. 
and is in this uh fuchsia light pink color and then has like a lighter pink so freaking cute so i need to find my other one so you guys can see the, the other one is like a light pink so that's really gorgeous and then i actually um ordered one for karen um gf she had mentioned that she really liked it so i ordered one for her it's the same color but then it just says her name is that this is name? what her looks like is that her real name so for now i'm gonna try on this outfit and i'm actually gonna try these shorts on now um to see if i need to either order a bigger size or go get it altered so probably when i try it on i'll check it with you guys hey guys so it's actually been much much later sorry but when i first tried it on i had called my sister to ask how she thought it looked or she, if she thought i needed to go you know get it taken taken in a bit she said i could but i think i'm not so i totally forgot to show you guys i know i mentioned that i was but this is what it looks like the top you're supposed to like zip it from the back but i can't do that and then you tie it but it fits good and then this is the skirt it also fits good it looks good um the only thing is i do have like a lot of extra space so that's pretty much what i was asking should i like go get it taped in but then i'm like i don't want it to be too tight and then you know like that's the point of showing the belly yeah i just wanted to really come update you guys because i know i was but this is the outfit so that's update on that it's much later and then i remember i showed you guys these as well i tried them on i got a large and tell me why they fit tight as hell so then i actually end up getting on the site and ordering an extra large or i think one x if it ends up being a little too baggy because it has like no stretch at all i can you know get it taken in it's, it's better for it to be bigger because i want it to go for like a baggier look but that's really all i came to talk to you guys because i realized that i didn't update you guys and i said i was so i'll probably come and talk to you guys tomorrow i'm not really sure what's my agenda because i pretty much already have all my maintenance done the only thing that i'm trying to think if i want to do is get my eyebrows done they don't look bad but yeah i'm trying to decide if i'm gonna do that or not but other than that i'm pretty much done with my maintenance yeah and tell me why i burnt my arm yesterday while cooking and then like today it kind of like peeled like I would do something like to get a scar, hopefully. I think I'm cover it with makeup or something, I'm not sure. But like I said, that's all y'all. I'll come back and update you guys. Bye. Hey guys, so it's been a few days since I last spoke to you guys. Um, so I'm really just gonna be updating you guys because there's been a lot of like um bullshit going on really so for the shoe originally it's supposed to be like an old school vibe so we needed an old school car so of course i had to go through hell and back just to find a car i found like two options from charlotte one of them though was trying to charge me an arm and a leg to come down here and shoot and was giving me a rate for five hours when i really just needed two hours max for shooting and then this other one he was down and his price was a little better and um i actually liked his car a bit better it was like a um, old school camaro drop top so the shoot was supposed to be on saturday today is sunday so basically yesterday so you guys know i'm a little pissed and low-key sad about that so he canceled on me because he was like that is a 70 percent chance of rain and he wasn't gonna drive in the rain which you know i understand that if the shoot was gonna be outside i wasn't gonna be able to shoot anyways comes saturday y'all it's literally no freaking rain like it was a bit cloudy but the sun was still out like but it was no rain so i hit him up like hey i know you canceled because of the rain but it's no rain and like the weather has completely changed do you think you'll still be able to make it down here 5 30 yeah. which i hit him up early and he was like um i have an appointment later today like how did you already confirm the confirmation but now you're telling me you have an appointment so his attitude was just giving me like i don't give a and like stank that was literally the only option besides the other people that's like an arm and a leg so and then like at this point i was just like thirsty and wanted to get it done i hit up the people that was charging me a lot and they was just like you know no because it's last minute 
So it's just like nothing's going like it was supposed to be. And originally when he had counseled me the first time for Saturday, it had showed that Sunday, today was gonna be sunny. So I'm like, well, since you can't do Saturday, are you available Sunday? He's like, no, because we have tournaments on Sunday and blah, blah, blah. I'll work on Monday. Like just, you know, he ain't really trying to make no money, y'all. I know I wanted to be old school. So at this point, I'm kind of thinking like if I should just try to find a convertible, like new new school, like up to date at this point is, I don't know. I really don't have any options. I would have figured she knew somebody with old school as well, which he does, but it's like a bright red. I don't want red. I either was looking for black or white. So it's literally just been a whole bunch of Like I said, we were supposed to be shooting yesterday and that did not happen. So now I'm trying to think like, when am I gonna shoot? Like at this point, I really just have to kiss that man's ass with that one car because he's literally the only option. And I really don't want to do that. Like, that's not even my character to be keep testing somebody, keep hitting somebody up that's like stank when I'm trying to put money in your pocket. Like, but the only option really is just to wait a whole nother week. And it's just like, I already got my nails done, I got my hair done, I have everything done, I have outfits. She literally got a haircut as well. So I'm just like trying to think, like, if we wait a whole longer, like, my hair is not even gonna be fresh. The haircut not even gonna be fresh anymore. It's just like, why? It's really pissing me off, y'all. Haki just wanted to like say fuck it, but it's just like I have to, cause I really miss talking to y'all. It's been like a month, so a lot of you guys have been hitting me up, like checking in on me, and I really been, I just been in my A because I feel like me personally, like you can see it in my face, and I didn't want to like keep blogging like like you know nothing. And then you guys kind of catch on to it. Or then like having comments like, oh, Tammy done got a little, you know, big, blah, blah, blah. So I was just like, I'd rather just get off the internet, take a break, and you know, come on here with my big announcement. And then that way I can move freely and you know, bring you guys along with the journey. But a lot of you guys have been hitting me up on Instagram, commenting on my videos like, hey Tammy, where you been? So I really appreciate that. So that's kind of really why I, i'm like so pressed i would say to get this out to you guys because i want i want to fill you guys in with the details and then i also want to continue with you know like blogging my life with you guys so yeah it's really just like upsetting but like i said i'm just updating you guys on what's been going on it's just been a whole bunch of so right now i'm actually just gonna head to my mailbox and print out like the actual newspaper that i need for the shoot so if I either, you know, end up finding something for today or tomorrow or next week, I just want to, you know, have it done already. So that's what I'm going to go out to do. So I'll just come and check in with you guys. Hey guys, so it's currently been exactly a week later. The last time I spoke to you guys, I pretty much gave you guys a rundown of what was happening and it was pretty much a fail. So today it's March 30th, it's a Saturday. So literally a week later, like I said, I ain't really been doing nothing so I ain't been updating you guys. And I was pretty upset about you know it failing the first time so today is actually video shoot slash photo shoot day and i'm like really really excited because it's finally happening first thing on my list is makeup appointment at 10 15 it's currently 9 30 ish um and then i also need to stop at the mall to pick up something that i got um altered the pink shorts i think i'll let you guys know about that and then also at my sister's house for a bag i need to borrow and then later me and she probably will ride downtown to kind of get a destination because we don't have a set destination yet the shoot isn't till four o'clock one other thing though as you guys probably already seen we didn't end up going with a old school like originally you know that was the plan and that was like the whole thing throwing everything off schedule um 
she had ended up finding a Audi convertible from convertible from somebody he knows and they're letting us use it I was gonna show you guys alpha of the day and like belly update but it's looking crazy in here like I was y'all well not really crazy I'm washing my couch because it did get a few stains so yeah that's what they look like so I'm gonna show you guys I just have on like a skims two piece I'll be sizing up to a medium now so both of these is a medium but this is giving baby update currently today your girl is 18 weeks and I think four days three days something like that so I will check in with you guys at my makeup appointment let's see if Okay. Oh my god, you're so <laughs> How far am I? Four months. Tammy! <laughs> you're so baby, baby. <laughs> Tammy, Thank you. Oh, you're so cute. Thank you. Oh, my Makeup is done. It's actually been a few. I ate, I ate a little sandwich, so my lip is messed up. But I'm about to start getting dressed. We have rolled out and found a location. Looks good, giving like it's gonna be good. So hopefully by the time we ride out there, it's still like you know clear and no cars and like traffic around there. But last week when we were supposed to plan my boo, my baye. Had got me some roses, y'all. And I was really upset because I thought they were going to go bad. But I put them in water and they still look good. He surprised me with some freaking cute roses. I need to let it dry. But this one is given. And then this is what they look like. So freaking cute. They kind of did get a little brown since they're like white. But... I feel like it's still pretty good for a week old roses. It's really, really cute. And it's kind of matching the vibes like black and white, you know, like um, old school. And actually this has pearls that matches like my details. He got the girl to put like the little newspaper thing right there. That's really cute. And I thought that was just like so thoughtful of him. Yeah, these are my roses that he got me. So I'm gonna bring these um, in case I might wanna, you know, get a few shots with them. But I already showed you guys details on what we're going to wear. 
so i'm gonna go ahead and get tazana dressed then i'm gonna get myself dressed and that by that time she should be on the way back with the car <laughs> but i actually did tazana's hair last night they light up yeah i put these little beads that kind of got like some little gold flakes in them so it kind of matches with the cream vibe i'm gonna go ahead and get her dressed first then i'm gonna get dressed and i'm gonna check in with you guys all right guys so i'm trying to update y'all but excuse 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 the freaking mess this is my outfit this one i'm giving cute 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 and then i just have to put my heels on having a difficult time trying to figure out how they go but there go tazana you can't see me guys there you go back up this is tazana cute the pretty princess from the castle <laughs> Okay, Chi. Okay. Show me your outfit. Daddy came through. You feel me? He a boss. Boss. <laughs> the only thing left for me to do is just do like my lip He's combo and reapply my gloss. But I'll probably do that when we get over there. We are running a bit late, so we about to go ahead and head out, and then I'll just check in with you guys. Behind the scenes of. What would this be called? The video shoot? Pregnancy announcement? Yup. We got Dante. You gonna downgrade it? Nah, that looks pretty <laughs> decent though. If you get lost, boy, then I will find you. You'll be my rock, boy. And I will climb you, but you don't notice me. It's like I'm not even here. I see you in the air, I see you in the bay, I see you every day, but I don't know what to say. So I'll be at the ball till 12 o'clock, eh? I'll be a Cinderella, Ella, eh? Then maybe you, and maybe me, and maybe me, not my little baby. My food is out. <laughs> I got the modern tierra, rice and beans, and a salad. And then Tazana got a quesadilla with fries. 
My food ain't came out here. Your food is to go, like always. All this has been on my back. They do put them on. Did you want some? No. Cheers. Cream honey or ketchup? Hey guys, so today it's a few days after the shoot, which is the last time I spoke to you guys. Right after the shoot, we had went and grabbed some food because I was real hungry. And then after that, we got home and then I just pretty much KO because it was a long day. Today it's Monday and I actually have a doctor's appointment. So I thought just to bring you guys along, this is pretty much going to be like you guys with me on my first trimester i believe we're still in the first trimester i'm not really sure guys so yeah i'm just gonna bring you guys with me to my appointment it'd be kind of hard to grab footage for you guys in there because they do have like you know no recording so it either be like sneakly or i'll see if i have chi record a few for you guys my appointment is at 11 30 so we're gonna head out in a few i'm actually just gonna bring my phone to the appointment and on my camera so I just wanted to talk to you guys before you know we make it there usually i think it's on mondays or tuesdays is when we complete a new week so if it's on monday today we'll make it 19 weeks but if it's on tuesday that means tomorrow will be 19 weeks so yeah guys we are headed to our appointment and then i will just check in with you guys Bye. all right guys so we have made it to my appointment just waiting on the doctor to get here that's what your girl looking like. And Susan and Chi are over here. Boy, don't be trying to hide. <laughs> so, yeah. Hey guys, so appointment update. Um, everything went well, and I actually had to schedule a anatomy um ultrasound because they say I'm already at the mark to find out, you know, the gender. That actually at 19 weeks is the start of your um second trimester, so we are in the second trimester already. So it is actually much much later and. I'm getting ready for sort of like a mini last minute date night that I'm having. I'm going to just put on very, very minor because then I'll be like too tired to take my makeup off. But I really can't talk to you guys really quick because I wanted to update you guys on the appointment. But like I said, they didn't really say much. It was just checking, heartbeat, see if I, you know, felt good. And then they schedule my other appointment, which will be on Thursday. And I don't really know what I want to do for a gender reveal yet. Like, I don't know, y'all. But anyways, I'm just going to bring you guys on to my little date night. Because I was kind of like, you know, just going to keep you guys updated on like baby stuff. But I was still want to bring you guys along, I guess, because it's been a really, really long time without me vlogging with you guys, honestly. And I miss it, like I said. So once this announcement video goes up, yeah, I'm going to be back on YouTube like I never left. And then it's kind of like I'm bringing you guys along with me because, as you guys know, Tazana is my only baby. So this is pretty much like our family time and you know spending as much time as we can with her still being like our only baby and it's like bittersweet and i just don't want her to feel like i don't know y'all just gonna do a little date night like i said i'm just gonna get i'm gonna do a little makeup i don't know what i want to wear though earlier you guys just seen the top with the headband it's actually a full set but i ain't wearing a full set or if i actually want to put on something different it's kind of hard though i don't know though because i still be kind of hiding my bump like in case i might see somebody out while we're like out because nobody knows right now but it's kind of like 
but you're not a celebrity like that like okay if people around here see you like anyways i'll just come back and talk to you guys maybe when i'm dressed or whenever you know we head out and whatever we do for tonight we're just gonna probably grab dinner of course and i actually been wanting to um see the new king kong movie come and talk to you guys in a minute dinner we trying out this place called butcher and bull and good? our food our food just came out i got um I lamb chops some else? veggies i, I got a That's caesar okay. salad mac and cheese chiga wings mashed potatoes susanna got grilled chicken breast and mac and cheese but these lamb chops are small though these are the smallest lamb chops I've seen. Why is it hot? My camera went blurry. Oh, there it go. You love food, I did. This would be perfect with a crust, bro. Beautiful wife and a beautiful daughter. I'm going to try the lamb chop. Yeah. I was just coming to introduce myself. How's everything for you so far? Everything good for you? Mm -hmm. good. Just, you want to try with my wings? Yeah, let me get a flat. It tastes all right. I think I need a little more sauce on them, though. Yeah, that's good. You like your mat? Did you try your mat? Hey guys, so it's much later and we are home. I'm just in bed for a few, but I am gonna like wipe my concealer off. My face has already been acting up, like I mentioned. But we went to dinner late. So by the time we got out, they didn't have any more showings left for the movie that I wanted to watch. So we didn't do that. We just grabbed dinner and then we actually, um, since we was downtown, we was like downtown for a bit, just walking around. So yeah, that was like our little outing. The restaurant was pretty okay. The food was good. Just wanted to update you guys. Like I said, so good night guys. Hey guys, so it is the next day and I'm gonna just be bringing you guys along with me for a day just because I've been missing picking up my camera. It's basically a day in my life as a pregnant a woman currently like midday we got up and i decided to come on a walk i've been trying to be a little more active i ain't really been doing too good with this so far though because i've been having like my hair done for the shoe so i really ain't been like trying to sweat it out but since that's already out of the way you know your girl is about to be doing a little more active things in her life like going on walks and i'm supposed to be joining the girls on their um, workouts as well but I'm waiting on them to get on their routine to go in the morning I just want to be more active on my journey this time just because of how things were the first time it was really bad so I'm trying to do everything that I can to avoid that after that I'll see if I'll go get me like a little juice or something I also do have to pick up some clothes from the cleaners and then I also need to put my couches together finally and then I'll just, you know, be updating you guys with the rest of the plans throughout the day. But for now, we're about to, you know, go on a little walk, which we're almost pulling up at. So I'll just check in. All right, guys, we're starting our walk. Look at the little ducks. We ain't got no food today, guys. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> They don't want you to touch it. Come on. It did just get like mad windy out of nowhere. Maybe because we came on a walk. <laughs> but I'm going to put a timer for what we think. 15 minutes or 20 minutes? So, um, when we don't walk here, can I, can I go on the playground? 
Yeah, should we do 15 minutes or 20 minutes? Uh, I think it's 15. 15. <laughs> I think the same too. So we're gonna do a timer for 15 minutes. Starting now. Yeah. And then, you know, it'll be 15 minutes back, so then that'll be 30 minutes. And then Tazana will probably do 15 minutes on the um, playground as well. But show them my outfit. Hold the camera. This is my outfit. My walking outfit. Cute. I got this set from, um, not set. I got this, um, jumpsuit from Forever 21. I feel, like I'm, I feel like I'm in the woods. We are. I feel like I'm lost. I'm still a dog so weird with us. Right, Tammy? Mm-hmm. You think so a lot of dogs here? Tammy, no. Tammy, look at that. Look at that. Look at the turtles. The turtles are on the stick. They're just chilling. Is that a turtle right there? <laughs> the sharks live in water and in the sea. People are probably like, oh my god, look at what? that pregnant lady walking. Daddy, I think <laughs> I see Come on. Tammy, huh? you remember us? Is that a horse? It's two horses. <laughs> Come on, give me your hand. It's cute. I went and bought those tires because I've always wanted black ones. Oh, look at the horse thing. Why does it look so like that? We got about five minutes left. <laughs> You're so slow. I'm slow. You behind me. Tammy, hurry up. <sighs> I'm not running. <laughs> yes, Tammy, I said I'm not running. Tammy, Our timer just went off. And we actually made it pretty far. I never made it this far. We usually always turn around all the way back there. But I've never walked this whole trail. It's pretty big. It goes like all the way right there. Like it goes all the way to the front back there. So it's pretty big. Come on. We're about to walk back though. So and then Susanna's gonna play. <laughs> Maybe one day we'll walk the whole Daddy, thing. I can walk when we close my eyes. Uh-uh, come over here. But usually with the girls, we go to this other part and we walk the whole trail. I wonder if that one is smaller than this one. But, yeah, I'm not sure. But like I said, I haven't really been active, so I didn't really want to do too much. I already feel like tired and sweaty now. So, I feel like this 30 minutes should be perfect for us. So we're about to walk back another 15 minutes and then I'll probably check in with you guys once we make it back. So we are done with our walk and now Tazana is doing her 15 minutes on the playground. She's currently on the swings right now. We have like about six minutes left on her timer. I don't know if y'all can see but she's on the swings. They're helping her because she doesn't know how to swing. <laughs> And it's still windy as freak. My hair is just messing up in the wind. It feels good though. But it's just like too windy. It looks like it's about to rain. 
I don't know if y'all see the clouds. So hopefully when we leave, it doesn't rain yet. Cause I, like I told y'all, I have like a couple errands to run. I don't think I'm gonna bring you guys with me for those. Cause it's pretty much just like getting out the car, picking up and you know, little things like that. Um, I'll probably check in with you guys once we make it home though. Hey guys, so I am refreshing up and I actually had stopped at the grocery store and got stuff to make for dinner so that's what i'm about to do and then i'm gonna paint my belly with you guys and since it was just easter a few days i think i'm gonna do like an easter vibe i do just have to go pick up some films for the polaroid i wanted to take some pics with the polaroid i actually had one but it's broke so i need to buy one i'm trying to think if i should show you guys dinner i'm just making my famous baked chicken i think you guys have seen it about five thousand times so skin all done i'm gonna just um clean up a little bit in the kitchen since i'm gonna cook and then i'll come show you guys for when we start setting up for the belly painting i'm trying to figure out where we're gonna do that do it at though because it is like painting can't do it in the living room i might I have to like clean up in my office but right now i just have on this robe this one is like silk so it's like very breathable as in to like my skin's one is like very thick so this is how i'm chilling right now hey guys it's much later and them couches putting them little cushion stuff back together it really whooped my butt but it's finally put together and I did spray it but I feel like I need another bottle so I ordered two more actually just to drench it it's supposed to make it like stain proof waterproof and all that but I had took the actual covers off and took them to the cleaners to get like dry clean they did pretty good I thought they were gonna do like much better and like here is like two stains that I feel like are like very visible I don't know they try to like maybe put bleach on it or something I'm not sure but yeah and then i actually finally put these little frames up i just have to get she to finally put my mirrors up there and i changed it to a cute little two-piece pajama set but i went ahead and did that because i wanted my office to be clear because i think this is where i'm gonna do it what well, i am gonna do it in here and those cushions were in here like taking up the space so i had stopped that joint ass to get brushes and then i need like a little palette i wish the sun wasn't going down on us but it is i told you guys that i wanted to do like a little easter vibe um, i don't know if i mentioned but i actually want to make it like actual series with you guys well i was thinking of doing it like on tiktok because that's mainly where i've seen it and then like if i am blogging let me know if you guys would like to see more of you know these little belly paintings so this is what i looked up just like an egg with like a little chick in it so that's what i'm gonna try to recreate i will consider myself a little artistic i took my ring out just because i didn't want to you know get paint on it but this is the other paint that we have but like i was saying i consider myself a little artistic hopefully i do good so it looks like we're gonna do pink I, and then i like this one because it has like pink and blue vibes and we don't like know what baby is yet so it's gonna be perfect so i'm gonna use this pink that i did get we got yellow um orange I don't have nobody to take these pictures for me. God dang. Hopefully it comes out, yo. Okay, so first, we're going to do the bottom of the egg. My tummy is not that big, so I don't really want to do it like too, too big. I don't know.
Okay, so now we're just gonna fill it in. All right, guys, so this is how that looks. And I'm just doing it sitting down because I feel like trying to sit up and like do all that. It's gonna be too much. So now I'm gonna do like the chick inside. Mom looks pretty. Get the move, Tony. So that's not gonna come off. No, it's not it. Can I help? Uh uh, you gonna mess it up. No, I'm not. And I think I know, so I'm gonna put the. Not this time, maybe another time. Why another time? Okay. I'm gonna like let the colors dry and then do like a little second coating if needed, I guess. I think the chick is kind of like lopsided. All right, guys. So I end up doing the top part of the egg as well, and I think it's pretty much dry. And I'm gonna go ahead with the um, layers of the dots, and they just like randomly on there. Okay, so next I think I'm going to try to do like the little uh, mouth, which would be like right here. And then once it dries, I'll go in like to make the line so we can know like what's the top lip. <laughs> I guess you'll say like blush right here. <laughs> okay, it's looking like it's looking like it. Then is the um, eyes. It looks like the eyes on here is a little brown. Well, uh, the That's it. And we are done. This is kind of more of a close-up of what she's giving. Cute, cute. Susanna, you like it? Uh, mm -hmm. It looks like, it doesn't look like the same picture a little bit. Little tiny. It's supposed to be like a, a Easter egg. All right, guys, so that was it for my little belly paint and I should already wiped it off came off very easily with um water I did it with hot water but the films that I went and bought which were these are the wrong ones so I couldn't even take some more um this is the other one that I end up taking so I only got one literally and then this is the other one so lame but it's cute, but I did take some off my phone. So comment below if you guys would like to keep seeing the belly paint in. And you know, comment what are some ideas I could paint on the belly. Good night guys, I love you so much. It, and make us get that um, good light button or else I'm gonna cut you out and steal your money.
Okay. So comment some little things you guys would like to see me draw, and then maybe on the next one, you know, we'll have Chi do some or like Tizana do some, just to switch it up. But honestly, I think this is the end of this like video. announcement pregnancy video. No video. I'm just excited to get this out to you guys and see what all you guys have to say <laughs> about everything that's going on. So with that being said, I will see you guys in my next video. I'm logging out for now. Me and the belly. And we will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye guys. I love you.